Okay guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to lift up some, some linoleum that's quite difficult in some areas to lift up. These areas weren't too bad. They come up just with a um, my floor scraper, cutting in the strips and lifting it like that. So I um, got to this section here and it was a little difficult to uh, lift up with a floor scraper, even though cutting it into lengthways strips like this. Um, so I'm just going to show you what tool I like to use to help um, really get under there and lift that that old lino up. So um, just coming over here to my rotary hammer drill. So I've got this one here. Um, I mean, the brand of Zito in Australia isn't like, it's more of like a DIY kind of brand, but they offer three years of warranty. So if it burns out, it burns out. Um, this particular one has different settings as well. So I just want, um, it has hammer, um, hammer with the rotating chuck and the hammer and drill as well. So I want to have it on the setting that's just, um, that's just um, hammering. Um, we don't want any rotation for the blade. Um, the blade I'm using is this SDS Plus. Um, this is probably the best option to lift up old lino because of how thin the, thin the blade is, you see there. So um, with chisel points and that, they they don't really get under it quite as well and it sort of starts to dig out the subfloor. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put this into the, into the hammer drill and show you guys um, how to make the job a bit easier. Righto. And I'll show you how to do that to put the tool in. Um, So this has already been greased up as well uh, from my last time I used this. Um, so yeah, all you do got the chuck here. It's like a jackhammer bit. Um, there, you just pull that back mm -hmm. and insert the SDS bus bit into there and it'll snap into spot. And I'm going to have it on, an, on a slight angle so when you're looking down that, just so I can, just so the bottom of that drill doesn't gouge into the ground and I can sort of get under it like that. All right, so I'm just going to set this camera up and um, show you how this works. I'll show you what it's like with the floor scraper first, just to show you how much harder it is in these areas. While you're doing this, guys, if you need to, you do need PPE, so I'm using goggles. Um, dust mask, gloves, and some ear protection as well. So make sure you definitely do that because this is super noisy when it gets going. I'm just going to show you a section of uh, this floor that looks like it's going to be a bit easier to, to lift up. You see that it's already starting to to come off. I don't even know if there's any adhesive at all um, on that. So yeah, the best best way to do this um, is not to lift up in too big a sections like I um, mentioned before. So you want to cut it into, into some workable strips. So for this part of the floor, for example, I'm going to cut along these, along these joints um, just with my Stanley knife or utility knife. Um, and just show you how that's going. 
So I've just got the corner of that, I've scored it, and it's just gonna lift straight up into a strip like that, easy as. Um, I wish the whole floor was like that, but I've got that section over there, which is a lot tougher, which I'm using the, the hammer drill for with the spade bit on it. So, takes a lot more a lot more muscle and um, doesn't really get under get under the the lino as well it starts to shear off into two different parts it leaves leaves the glue down and and the backing and just takes the sort of top layer off I want it to take everything off uh, this one has like a clear plastic over it too so yeah there's a few layers to it um, so yeah, I'm gonna crack on and do this and see you guys shortly. I'm also gonna use um, some uh, detergent solution so that while I'm, um, while I'm chiseling the blade stays cool. Um, overheating the blade will start to melt the, the liner and it's also just gonna prolong the life of the blade as well. super hard with that pressure just um, just letting the blade do its thing um, yeah I'll do a little bit more and show you guys close up how it sort of works uh, once I get sort of a section a section going then it'll start to peel up the rest of it like that so I'll do this section here um, show you how the, the machine works um, yeah, just a bit more about that too. The the machine only costs uh, in Australia was like 130 Australian dollars, but the the SDS Plus bit itself, uh, the floor scraping bit, was more like 160. So it ended up costing more than the actual the hammer drill. But you know, hopefully I'll have the blade for a long time and it does a few more jobs. So it's probably the worst part of it. You can see over here on the floor. Um, it's already starting to lift up in some corners and like bits like that come up really nice so I'm hoping that this is the worst the worst of it I will have a look
See that? It's getting, it's tearing through that pretty nice. Um, not super quick, but once you get on a roll, it's not too bad. Um, I've done it before as well. Like if you, I found that if you get a, a steam mop, um, and if you go ahead, so you get another person to help you. But if you go ahead and they're working backwards in a section with a steam mop, as soon as they heat that up, just come behind them with the with the drill there, and it makes it softens the glue up and makes it a lot easier to um, to lift up. So with the with the hammer drilling, um, you want it to be on a forty five degree angle, getting under that that vinyl, um, or I know, and taking up everything. Um, including that adhesive on the back so that you're not having to do more floor prep than necessary. Um, when you're when you're doing it, um, you don't want to be too square on to the actual section that you're trying to lift. Like you don't want to be straight into there, under there like that. You don't want to be like that because it'll just get caught um, and it'll just tear and carry on. So you want to, when you're doing it, work work on an angle and work from like the side, the side out. So I like to, when I do it, work from this corner and work towards that towards that door. It makes it a bit easier to to get under it. So I'll just show you um, how to get under there at a 45 degree angle and get get the most up as you possibly can in one go. So here we go. Got under there at a nice angle. So it's gonna take everything. And away. Go two square on. And Tear up. I've also scored with my Stanley knife around the outside of this, the perimeter of this cabin um, because the floors go right under all the skirting into the walls, I think, and all the architrave. So the best I can do is is just score, score all the way around here, a bit further back, um, and then just 
when I get a section up like that, it, it'll peel away without leaving big residue or anything like that there. So I can go around with a, with a chisel and just clean up those corners there. best as I can sort of do. That'll still make the job of putting the, the new flooring down just as easy. Um, yeah, hope that helps.